What's up guys, it's your boy Scorpio here. So, we did it. We're doing it. <laughs> all right, well first of all, uh, I went to Target a couple days ago. And I got this car meat car pack right here. So I just wanna let you guys know, this is a new car meat pack that's out. At the top, it has your 2012 Corvette Z06, your 2010 Camaro SS, your 22 Ford Mustang GT, BMW 2002 and at the bottom a uh, new recolor of the 71 Datsun 510 it looks like uh, Another one that they had before but it's just a little bit lighter And it has different wheels on it, but there you go. So that's cool But more importantly any of that is I am finally as of today when we do this race All caught up with the videos. I promised you because I had promised you NASCARs. We did it I promised you real riders We did it. We did uh, the police car races, we did it. It even had a bonus General Lee race, and we did that too. Uh, being at work, it's always kind of hard to catch up. But with this shelter-in-place stuff, I was able to catch up and finally bring you the last race that I promised you guys that I would keep up on because you guys sent in cars. Uh, we already did the Pobo Racing part of his cars for challenging this GT 500 right here. This is our current podium champion of King of the Curve, right? So today we're going to see who the total champion is. We've got cars right up here. We got Jim L is going to be challenging. And then we've got the Blackburn family is going to be challenging here. And we've got Hot Wheel Racer Mike's car. And so when we finish the race today, we will know who is the King of the Curve. So I'm not going to make this uh, ongoing series looking for, you know, the king forever. It's just people will start sending cars in and I just never got around to finishing it because I like to do other kind of races. Now I noticed that about myself. So King of the Curve is not going to be a weekly, daily series or anything. It might not even happen again. But um, I'm just going to race <laughs> and make up cool races as I go along kind of like what uh, races and fun do they kind of put different tracks together and have a lot of fun and I kind of like that I don't like to be you know just uh, locked into doing you know one thing or something so that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna finish off the king of the curve today and find out if any of these three cars that were sent in has what it takes to take the king of the curve off of his podium all right guys so with that being said, let's get into it and see who the king of the curve is. All right, guys. First person challenging the Ford Shelby GT500 is Jim L with his GT Racer. Yes, indeed. The GT Racer by Jim L. Does he have what it takes? We'll find out. And then, depending on who wins that, we've got the Shelby Cobra Daytona right here. So, check it out. This will be raced by none other than the Blackburn family. Yes, yes. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And then... Whoever is on top will have to face the Ford GT90 sent in by Hot Wheel Racer Mike. Yep. So, there you have it, guys. The King of the Curve contenders, the competitors. Who has what it takes to be on the top as this series comes to a close? All right, let's get into it and find out. All right, guys, we're at the starting gate <laughs> on the mag track. Oh, yeah. So here we go. The current champ, the Ford GT500 Shelby against the GT Ford Racer, which was sent in by Jim L. A couple months ago. <laughs> All right. So today we are going to see what's up. All right. Let's get this. The best of three. Here we go. Jim. 
check out this magical flip. Oh my goodness. The champion picks up his first win. The GT racer needs one. All right, or oh, it's over. Here we go. The GT Racer has pulled one. Oh yeah, in the Ford Shelby GT500 has one. Whoever takes this one will be your champion. Jim L is the new champion. All right. Well, now we got to get him ready to defend his next opponent, which is the Blackburn family. All right. Here we go. Let's get him racked up. Blackburn family with the Cobra Daytona. Yes, look at that Shelby right there. Challenging the Ford GT racer, Jim L. Which one of these guys is going to be? The next king, we're going to find out right now. Oh, yeah. King of the curve. Right, the current champ, the GT racer with the first win. And now we got to have the good old Shelby come through. The Carol Shelby card. You can do it. Come on, Blackburn. Get a win in. The Cobra Daytona has picked up a win. The GT Racer has a win. Whoever gets this next one is your champion. That was a hard loss right there with the crash and everything. Uh, not only is the Cobra Daytona going to have to go see Dave for some roof work, but it looks like that Blackburn family is going to have to go and go to the hospital, just get checked out, make sure everything's okay. Looks like he's going to be fine. Wow. Sometimes it can be catastrophic in these races, man. You take your chances going at speeds of 200 miles an hour. All right, so... Hopefully everything's going to be okay. All right. Well, we got to move on to the race now. So we'll check in later. All right. And as you can see, Jim L has moved on with his second championship. Now he's got to face Hot Wheel Racer Mike in that GT90. All right. Let's see. Can he maintain a third win and become the true king of the curve? Let's find out. We got our challenger, the Ford GT90 by Hot Wheel Racer Mike against Jim L in the GT Racer. A lot of GTs today. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Best of three. Best of luck to everyone. Open up. You open up. Hit you on, baby, yeah, my. To be closer to friends. Racer Mike in a GT90 showing off a little bit, even coming in backwards. 
Nice little 180. All right. Well, Jamel, you need this one to stay in the game, baby. Here we go. Let's race. There you have it guys, Hot Wheel Racer Mike is your king of the curve champion. Look at him proudly holding up that trophy in front of the car and his pit crew celebrating. It is awesome. Congratulations, you are the king of the curve champion forever. All right, well, oh, we just heard that Blackburn is doing okay. So let's go check in and see how he's doing. There's Mr. Blackburn right there standing in front of his car. It's going to need a little bit of work on the roof, but nothing that Dave Akers can't fix up. So anyway, there he is. He's fine. Just had a couple scrapes and bruises. Glad to see that. Fantastic racing. All right, guys. Well, we want to also thank Jim L. Where's Jim There's L Jim out there with his buddy? They're going to work on the GT racer. They said this ain't over. They're going to come back and do some more racing at some point. So they got a brand new engine, looks like they about to drop in there and just gonna come back and do it. I mean, they did excellent job. They were two time winners. So, you know, I know they have to get what it takes to get it done. They can do it.